In this video, we discuss central pontine myelinolysis. Central pontine myelinolysis is a non-inflammatory, demyelinating disease of the white matter tracts traversing the pons. It is often associated with demyelination of other areas such as the basal ganglia, thalami, and subcortical white matter. This most commonly occurs with the rapid correction of hyponatremia. Other causes include renal failure, diabetes mellitus, malnourished status, and post-orthotopic liver transplantation. Histologically, this is characterized by intramyelinitic splitting, vacuolization, and myelin sheath rupture with the preservation of neurons and axons. This differentiates this process from a central pontine infarct. Symptoms of central pontine myelinolysis include acute para or quadriparesis, dysphagia, dysarthria, diplopia, loss of consciousness, and other neurological symptoms associated with brainstem insult. When considering imaging features, diffusion weighted DW images show the earliest signal intensity changes as restricted diffusion within 24 hours of the onset of symptoms. This region subsequently demonstrates high T2 and low T1 signals. The T1 and T2 changes may take up to two weeks to develop. Gadolinium contrast enhancement is occasionally seen in the periphery of the lesion and may reflect blood-brain barrier disruption. The transverse pontine fibers are most severely affected compared to the descending corticospinal tracts, and the peripheral pontine fibers are typically spared, hence the term central pontine myelinolysis. Differentials include pontine infarct, encephalitis, glioma, multiple sclerosis, metastasis, hypoxic ischemic vasculopathy, post-radiotherapy, and chemotherapy changes. If you like the video, you can like it, comment it, and share it with your friends. If you are not subscribed yet, please subscribe and click the bell button.